Setting goals. So this is one of my favorite topics to talk about. A friend of mine once told me that he thought setting goals is a waste of time, that it doesn't work, and that nobody ever looks back at the goals that they set for themselves. And he actually said that setting goals is stupid. <laughs> and I'll never forget that conversation because it was with a good friend of mine. And, you know, he, is a, he, he still is a good friend. But truthfully, we do see the world in very different ways. And I'm not sure if he would have said what he did so bluntly if he knew how strongly I feel about the power of setting goals. But I was glad that he was so honest with me. And of course, as a coach, I totally recognized that he was triggered by just the thought of it. He clearly had some underlying, underlying fears. But what was interesting for me to witness was this loathing surrounding the idea. You know, the simple idea of setting a goal for yourself. And of course, I didn't argue with him about my own thoughts on why I believe setting goals and creating desired outcomes is extremely important in life. For me, the bottom line is that it works and it continues to. And I think it's really straightforward. So when I have a desired outcome that I'm after in any situation and I focus on that outcome, the majority of the time, I find that it absolutely comes true in some way, shape or form. And part of the equation is knowing exactly what you want right? You need to know every detail about what it'll look like when that goal has been achieved, how it will feel, how it will impact the world and the people around you. And the more you can visualize and be creative with those details, the better. However, there's an important and a very necessary accessory to formulating what you want. And it's why you want it. Why do you ultimately need to achieve this goal? Asking yourself the question why takes your goal setting to a much deeper level. Understanding the motivation of why you want to achieve your goals is, 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 is key, and it will set you up on a path to success. Sometimes identifying your why is difficult, and at times you need to be brutally honest with yourself, but it's an important exercise in achieving your dreams and your desires. So defining your why will help you cut through the fear of failing as it helps to clarify what's really important. And scientifically, your brain is on your side. When you set a goal for yourself and you start physically working towards it, dopamine is released in your brain, which rewards your progress. And the results are feelings of pleasure, greater concentration, and surges of motivation. So this naturally sets ourselves up for wanting more of that release and that buzz, so it inspires us to keep going and increases our likelihood of success. Now to be completely transparent, it's true that sometimes I don't know how, I don't know exactly how I'm going to achieve my goals, but if I let that fear restrain me, then the majority of amazing things that have happened in my life would have never happened. So for example, years ago after my first trip to Costa Rica, I just knew I wanted a vacation home there someday. I had no idea how I was going to make that happen. I had no money to buy a home or, or build one. I had no connections there at the time or resources, but it's something I knew that I wanted. So over the years, I just kept thinking about it and I would work towards making it happen. And now we have a beautiful home in Montezuma. I have a yoga retreat center and we own six other lots of land. Like it's, it's, it materialized into something bigger than my initial dream. So here is my personal goal setting process. I write down my goal or my desired outcome, as I like to call it, and I write it in as much detail as I can. What it looks like, feels like, smells like even, and the more details, the better. Then I write out why I need to make it happen. What are the underlying reasons this goal is so important for me to attain? And I try to dig deep and navigate through all the feelings that this exercise can trigger because I have to tell you, the ego frequently gets involved. So I try to embrace that and explore all the motivating components. And I ask myself, how will achieving this goal enhance my life and the people around me? Next is to spend some time brainstorming everything and anything I need to do in order to make it happen. This action list sometimes fills up a page or two or three and I brainstorm like literally every single action item I can think of that I would need to do in order to make this desired outcome a reality. So this master action list is going to seem very overwhelming at first. So you break it down into sections. So for example, if this is a goal you want to achieve in a year from now, then break it up into quarters 
and then take the items in your master list that would fall into that first quarter and list them there. And if it's a goal you want to achieve in a month or several months, then break it down by weeks. And as I work towards accomplishing my goal, I revise my action list as I move forward. So I cross items off as I complete them or I add new ones based on my progress. And once that first quarter or that week is complete, then you create your second quarter list or your second week. And then you transfer items from your master list that of course would be relevant for that time period. So for example, my husband and I did this when we decided we wanted to move to New York City. So I have here a New York City plan book, which is Scott and Kelsey's New York plan. This is what we used when we decided we were gonna to move to New York and we're gonna make this happen. So we have a list of my needs and desires for moving here, Scott's needs and desires um, for moving here, and because it was really important for both of us to know why we wanted to, to move here. Again, it's about really clarifying our why. So then we did, um, we actually did a pros and cons list and all that, we did this together. So here is our master list. Everything, it says to do an outcome list. So everything we needed to do. So it's a really, really long list. It fills up two, um, two columns. It was every single thing that we had to do like literally from interviewing new schools for our daughter to booking the moving truck, um, you know, uh, and uh, deciding what we were gonna do with our vehicle back in Toronto, like every, every, everything, our visas, getting our visas or our green cards, um, and even like fixing the basement carpet in our house that we lived in in Toronto. So every single thing that we need to, needed to do from that day to when we actually land in New York rewrote down. And of course we added to it as we um, brainstormed and thought of new ideas. And then you can see here, quarter one, October to December. And so we wrote down everything on the list that we needed to do for that quarter. And then for that quarter, we worked on this list. And of course we needed to revise it here and there, but this was what we focused on because this mass master list was just, it's too overwhelming. So when you break it down, that was quarter one. And then we have quarter two, which was January to March. And it was, it was quite a big list. And there's a lot of checks and ads and, you know, moving to quarter threes and just, you know, notes we kept, we kept on top of it. Then quarter three was April to June. Quarter four was July to September. And then we added a quarter five, uh, just because we were moving. Um, we, at that point, we knew what our moving date would be. When you shift your focus, the quality of your life shifts. So imagine achieving one of your dreams by this time next year. It could be a health goal. It could be a career goal, financial goal, relationship goal. And now imagine achieving two or three goals. Because let me tell you, those goals definitely won't happen unless you shift your focus and work towards making them come true. And this plan is so super simple that anyone can implement it. So this system, I have to say, it works for me, it works for my clients, and I'll continue to do it for the rest of my life. So let me know in the comments below what goals you want to achieve this year, or in a month from now, or three months from now. And implement this system because it's so simple and it works. Enjoy the rest of your day, ladies. Make it incredible. And remember, if you know any other kick-ass women in business or female entrepreneurs, please invite them to the Divas with Grace page and let's build this community together. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.